What's going on guys? Welcome to Poe Boys. I'm Poe and I am in my truck right now. Oh, squeaky door. Oh, key on the floor. Okay, looking at my truck, my truck obviously needs a little bit of work with it. My car obviously needs a whole lot of work, but this one drives and that one doesn't. So, what I'm going to do is, if you look at the truck actually, you'll see it has a stock radio. However, if you look at the car, it has an actual radio. And this car is about to be race car very freaking soon. Oh, oh. Okay, so about to do some race car mods to this thing, about to do some daily driver mods to that thing, so I'm gonna go ahead and get to doing that. But eventually I'm gonna do wheels, tires, bumper, full exhaust, clean it up, do an undercoat, tow mirrors, headlights, tail lights, all the above, maybe some paint work. Um, the front bumper, I could probably stay with that for a while, don't need to change, but these headlights are pretty bad. But uh, needs brake rotors, the belts, pretty much everything on the belts needs to be fixed, the AC compressor and the AC blower motor needs to be fixed as well. Right now I just want a radio, so I'm gonna turn the freaking radio on in the truck it will not turn all right folks i need to take this dash off how do you do that all right move the steering wheel down oh we got some stuff i don't know what those go to that's a hot that goes straight to nothing this truck's had some work done to it before oh gosh now i can't even get out i lowered the steering wheel too low my legs are too thick so on this side i'll just get a quick little unplug there we go and there's a plug right here and a plug right here sound right sure oh it's a drill bit drill bit will work too oh it's sharp holy cow come on Ow, stabbing myself with a drill bit. I'm not happy. Come on now. There we go. All right, all right. Okay, that should just pop out. But, oh, there it goes. Oh, okay. I have a dash. So, in theory, since this is old Ford and this is old Ford, what I should be able to do. Gosh dang, this thing's so much weirder after not driving it for a while. All right, that is a stock Ford harness right there. And in theory, that should work. I'm actually pretty pumped. I mean, it's gonna be sweet just to do. I'll pull this radio out, which should be just a few little clips. Yep, push that in. Push this guy in right here. Now that stock radio will come right out. Literally is booty. I'm glad I'm getting rid of that. And I'm replacing it with this. So I'm gonna slap that doggo in there. Ooh, it might not even fit. Ooh, it doesn't look like a wheel. My radio will not fit in this, ra in this radio holder. Oh wait, nope, the whole thing's broken. I can make it work. I definitely make that work. Sweet. Awesome. All right, so now it's all the way in. Oh, look, there's Jake. Let's see if this is the same plug. If it is, I'm going to be happy. Yup, it is. Awesome. Hi, Jake. How you doing? Doing good. This is very difficult. I don't know why it's beeping at me, but it's beeping at me. All right. All right. All right. In there like freaking swimwear. Now let's check and see if this radio works. Come on, radio. Let's go. Let's go, baby. I literally just took it out of that car because I spliced in the harness. I took it out of that car and put it inside of here. All right, all right, all right. That fits great too. Oh my gosh, I really like that. Heck yes! It's perfect. I got a freaking radio. Also, this is my steering wheel. I can do this on the road and it still goes straight. It's a little loose. Yeah, so got a few mods I gotta do to this thing, but until then, I'm actually pretty freaking happy. All right, connection, po phone. Yep, I'm connected, all right, all right, all right. Aw. I'm still on the Bluetooth speaker. Bro, what? My freaking radio works. Outside of this warm church town, there's a This is sweet. To a I love it. That worked well. I love it a lot. I literally just got here like five minutes ago. That was the first thing I was going to do. I was like, I'm going to slap a radio in this dog. There you go. I'm big happy. I honestly thought that was going to take longer than it did. Yeah, that seemed to go pretty simple. I'm happy. And this right here, stock radio. Oh, bro. <laughs> Oh, it shattered straight on the screen. Not on the screen, on the on the thing. It didn't scratch. That didn't work as good as I thought it would. <laughs> Let me try this with uh, the camera in my hand. There we go. No one likes stock radios. Do what? What turbo is this? That's the turbo from my twin turbo kit. Oh. Freaking all the wheels inside of here. You Transmission. See, like, I can make it spin by blowing into it. I bet you could, honestly. <laughs> no. <laughs> yep. Oh, yeah, I did, I did. Yeah, dude. <laughs> <laughs> that's it, awesome. Like no resistance. So that's freaking funny. Dude, I'm actually, I, I'm pumped right that's now. That's naturally aspirated. That was one of the biggest things I was kind of bummed about is how my radio wouldn't even play music. All right, so the first mod I have is the uh, radio inside the truck. And now what I've got is some taillights. And want to know where I got some taillights? I got taillights for my dad's F-250. That looks way better. The reverse lights work and everything. Wow, okay, sweet. All right, I don't have, hmm. <laughs> I don't have the thing I need. There is a 10. When you find a 10, you always know you're doing good because it's a 10. All right, so can't use power tools because I'm ignorant and I lost the freaking quarter inch adapter. So I'm gonna use hand tools. If I had to guess, I'd say this is muddy. Oh, it's actually not too bad. So now I grab this new tail light, one right here. Big light goes in the big hole, slide it on in. And this light is now gonna go up top. Are you kidding me? I just broke this bracket. Hopefully I can freaking reuse it. And no. 
that will not fit. No way that's fitting. You know, I tried. I really did try. Gosh darn it. All right, well, 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 I see how it is. I see how it is. It looks like I'm not gonna have no no type of luck on this. I'll just have to get some taillights directly for this truck and I'll have to order them online. By the way, putting it back in is super simple. All I gotta do is scoopity doo, pop, taillights are back in. I need something tall, like a skateboard. All right, brake lights should be on right now, but they're still not. Huh, I wonder what that is. I'm gonna have to look into the wiring of this truck and see if I can't find a, uh, say a common problem or something like that. See if the wiring on that, those brake lights aren't bad. But I'm gonna keep unloading some stuff and go from there. Scratch that, I lied. Look at these guys right here. These were the brand new blades I bought for my Tacoma and they look kind of similar to the ones on this truck. So I'm gonna go ahead and climb up. Boop. Ah. Woo. All right, we Gucci. Slide that doggo up. Oh yeah, that is bad sun. Oof, that is not gonna fly when I'm trying to wet my blades in the rain. That's broken. I assume that's just what happens when you flip over a truck. Pop that, and this guy, in theory, should just slide directly on. That's slid on, and it ain't coming off. Ah, oh, I'm able to reuse my Tacoma blades. Boy, I was so mad when I flipped over the Tacoma, I was like, man, I won't be able to use these blades. Watch this, do a little bit of Poe magic, and you can make anything work. Honestly, these are almost are the same size, and one thing I know about windshield wiper blades is you can take this piece right here, slide it out, and I should be able to do the same with these. But this is only in theory. Oh boy, it will work. It's so freaking hard to do. I need some pliers. This is how you do it when you don't know how to do anything. All right, so that got that little clip off. Oh yes, we could still make anything work because this is po' boys. Come on, slide in. I wonder if I could use the other side. Oh yeah. All right, all right, get a little bit of traction. Now I'm gonna put her in full low and bog. You know what? I have a razor blade. I'm going to cut ever so slightly. I'll do it right here. Some good light. Ever so slightly this piece off to give it some uh, traction to get in there. So in theory, we should be able to put that thing on there now. It is in and it's working. Oh man, it's only on just a little bit. I'm gonna have to cut this all with a razor blade. This is going to be fun. This is really not the recommended way to do this. I could just go out and buy some wipers, but I'm cheap and I don't wanna buy some wipers. Now I get to slap it on there. See if this don't fit. Oh baby, let's freaking go. This is the most tedious process. Putting windshield wiper blades or windshield wiper like squeeze on a new blade that was never supposed to be there in the first place. Wonder how far I am? That far. Literally that far. Literally from here to here. I don't need to go all the way to here. So I'm gonna keep on doing that off camera because this is annoying. All right, so I don't know if y'all can see this, but I got it on there actually pretty well. Did you hear that snap? That was freaking solid. So now I got me a windshield wiper out of the old totaled Tacoma wipers that I had. That's actually kind of funny. So they aren't gonna scrape anymore. Pretty happy. I'll put the trash right here. Actually, I'm gonna keep this radio. I'm gonna use this for something someday. It's got a tape player on it. All right, guys. So what I did was I took this key fob right here. And if you'll see, this is a Mustang key fob. I bought two for the Mustang right there because it was like five bucks for a two pack. And there's a little trunk thing. And I was like, I don't know if this will work on the truck. So what I did was I turned it on. And what you do is don't push the clutch in. You have to go ignition all the way on ignition all the way off eight times within 10 seconds and then it'll start beeping and then you got to press a button on this key fob and now it works also another thing nobody likes antennas and that means me too so i'm taking this mug out all right much cleaner without the antenna it doesn't look so yee -ye ish that's what i'm kind of doing with this truck is taking the work truck out of it and making an actual nice truck um got the radio in which is a nice radio got the key fog hooked up the antenna off new wiper blades on i tried for the new tail lights i know they'll fit inside of there but the wiring won't fit i'd have to wire in and splice new connectors in but i'm not going to do that right now because i don't have all the tools to do it but other than that i mean that's pretty much it for as of right now what i can do to the truck without getting any parts in yet folks so um what we're dealing with right now is it's now the next day but the truck is not blowing ac at all so i looked up the diagram and that's the blower motor relay so i was like what the heck why the heck is that not even in there so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna take this relay from the uh rear defrost and i'm gonna see if my ac turns on now that might have been the wrong relay oh it was the right relay okay now let's see if this uh ac works now whoa it blows Let's go! Okay, so the blower motor is not bad. This truck was a work truck and someone did a lot of goofy work to it. It's definitely blowing hot air and it's set to cold. It smells like West Texas is what it smells like. It smells like dirt, son. Let's see if the AC clutch is working. AC clutch is not engaged. There it goes. Oh, wait, wait, wait. It, it worked. There it goes. It was making a bad connection. What the heck is this? Okay, I need to splice those wires together. 
That's that's going to be my problem. I just fixed it. I fixed it without even doing anything. So what I need to do now is take this hacked up goofiness right here. I'm gonna cover that up with some electrical tape and I'm gonna take this right here. I'm gonna give it a crimp and connect it. <coughs> All right, well, that's good. You know I had some electrical tape in here. All right, so I'm gonna get this electrical tape. I'm gonna throw it onto yonder. I'm just gonna cut these mugs. Never cut two wires at the same time, just in case there's a uh, current running to them. All right, so I'm gonna crimp this one side. There's the black wire. Magical. All right, so that one's crimped on. Now I gotta grab one more connector. And actually, while I'm here, might as well just crimp that guy on too. So I'm gonna spin it around a little bit, get a good connection, and close it down. So that's one connection. And now I gotta do the other. Put that mug on there. Now I gotta crimp it. All right, that's crimped. Now I gotta go to the other side, put that mug in there, and crimp it. All right, so got two good connections there. I'm gonna heat these up and then electrical tape. Oh, well, that's not a good connection. Mm -hmm -hmm. Always love crimping things and missing. That's always the most fun thing to do. I'm gonna plug this guy back in. Now I'll plug this guy back in. And I should have good connection now. Let me test it and see if it uh, blows cold. All right, I just turned it on. It's running. That inside of there is running. Wait, now it's not. Now it is. Now it's not. Now it is. No, it's not. Are you touching the AC? It's like running and then it stops and it runs and it stops. Is it blowing cold? That's actually a lot colder than what it was. Oh, it's getting cold. Yeah. Let's do max AC. Let me see if it stays on. Okay, well, it's working fairly good. It's cold at all. I mean, it's still, this side's on to get, this side's colder. I bet if I put some AC Pro in it, it'd make it real cold. All right, so let's see. I'm just gonna assume this is the cold side because the hot side don't fit. Yeah. Oh, can't get it all the way on. Heck, there we go. I'm honestly not against, uh, if I can't get it to sit on there, I'll just hold it. <sighs> all right, so we got max AC. Oh, it's already getting cold. This is nice. Oh, it took all the can. Oh yeah, it sucked and it And it sucked it in. Golly, it's blowing freezing. This is great. This is awesome. I'd roll the windows up and make it cold in here. Oh, it doesn't roll up at all? No, the switch is broken. I need to figure out which pins to, to jump. Dude, this is awesome. It's blowing cold. I'm gonna take the relay out of my fuse box and uh, replace, because I took the, re the rear defroster fuse out and I put it in the AC. We'll get one out of the Mustang. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna the take Mustang. the AC one out of the Mustang and replace it. Your Mustang switch is the same. I still need to be able to use that though, yeah, so I can. The, yeah, no, but I mean, you could get this one working since this is the vehicle you're driving right now. Uh, I guess that's true. I don't need to worry about yeah. it. Yeah. All right, guys, this episode was pretty much just finding out what was wrong with my truck and getting parts for it. And oh, look, it's Gavin. Hi, Gavin. Bye, Gavin. So pretty much just finding out parts I need for the truck. Um, I figured out I need an alternator. I'm gonna need a few more parts in the pulley system. Obviously, I'm gonna do tow mirrors, level the truck out, put it on 35s, maybe 17s, maybe the same style look as I did before, but I don't know exactly if I wanna do that. Obviously, tail lights, the third brake light, bumper, that bumper looks booty. And then a few other things, and this truck will be pretty freaking solid. But um, until then, y'all stay tuned for the next episode. Actually, I'm about to get started on something else. I'm gonna paint my car. Do you have anything you wanna say? Um, uh, unfollow Zorby, um, and follow It's Just a Six. Follow Zorby, follow Mello, follow It's Just a Six, follow Pro Boys Official. Truck is dripping. It's peeing. Alright guys, by the way, have a good one. Remember to freaking send it.